Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. A couple of weeks ago, a TikToker by the name of Brianna posted a story about her husband and son going golfing. And she said that while they were golfing, and it sounds like the story took place somewhere in Alabama, but while they were golfing, I guess their ball uh, went to another golf party's area, if you will. And when they went to retrieve the ball, a man by the name of Justin Mendoza said this. Check it out. I know that a lot of people don't want to believe this, but racism is still a thing and there are still racist people in 2024. I'm literally shaking. My husband just called me and he takes our kids to play golf with him. It's just their thing. It's what they do. They go play golf together a couple times a week. Well, today they were playing golf and my husband was up on a hill, hit a ball. I'm making a long story short. He was up on a hill, hit the ball, and he didn't see that there were two other guys down below the hill they were just sitting in their golf cart I guess I don't know what they were doing but he hit the ball and it got close to them and so once he drove down the hill and got out to get his ball the guy said hey watch where you hitting the mf and ball inward in front of our two children so of course my husband gets upset they exchange words he continues to call him the n-word over and over my husband drives away moves on and as he goes to hit his ball at another hole the same guy yells in word again while they were going back and forth my husband asked him for his name he told him his name i look him up on facebook and the saddest part about it is justin you're a parent i just i mean i see you here with your son how would you feel if someone called you a racial slur in front of your son hmm how would you feel if someone called you a racial slur in front of your son, Justin? How would that make you feel? It's 2024. I cannot believe he still are dealing with racism. So she said that he, you know, said some pretty horrible things, including calling them the N-word. And they went and found their page on Facebook because she said her husband asked what his name was and he told her. And so she talked about him having a son and would he like anybody uh, to say anything like that to his son? Of course, I'm sure he would not, but she wants everybody to know that's how Justin gets down and he's very proud. Now, a lot of people are saying that he's a white Hispanic because he looks like a white man, but that also goes to show us that they sometimes take on the characteristics of white supremacy and think that they can espouse their racist views on black people. But it's like if we're golfing and our ball went down there, why do you got to be doing all of that? Or do you just hate to see black people in the spaces that you think are reserved for just you, even though it don't sound like you white, but you think you are? Do you think that uh, that's what it is? Like they shouldn't be there? Of course, we know that golfing can be very racist as we have heard about in the past tiger woods enduring racism from um them folks so that's not unusual but in 2024 as she said you know they still they being white wannabe supremacists uh justin mendoza thinks it's all right to talk to black people like that and so i don't know it sounds like people are trying to find out where he works and things like that to let them know about their employee, but a lot of cases, those people work for themselves and they might be working for somebody that's like, oh, that's all he said was the N word. Why am I? I don't know, you know, but he wanted the attention. So, Justin, here you go. It's all yours. So, anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, the Demetri K 